Mr. Tomlinson, how did you get to the idea of basic income? Well, I was working in the Northern Territory with Aboriginal people and in Brisbane with homeless people and with uh, single mothers. And um, many of those people weren't paid benefit for one reason or another, even though they were in desperate financial need. And other people who were in uh, much better off circumstances would get a benefit. Um, and it struck me that it was a very unfair system, the sort of targeted, means-tested system that then existed. So I, I thought, well, what we need is a guaranteed minimum income that guarantees people without funds money when they don't have any other money. And why do you support this idea? Well, I essentially support the idea of basic income because it will pay everybody exactly the same amount of money and presumably the state will take money back in inverse proportion to how much people earn. So um, that, that will mean that those who can afford it will pay tax, those who can't afford it won't pay tax and uh, they um, will gradually build a far more equitable system by those means than we would under the existing system. And what do you expect from basic income? Well, essentially, that irrespective of their social circumstances, whether they live with somebody or they live alone, whether they work or don't work, whatever their race, uh, whatever sort of contributions they make or don't make to society, everyone will be paid equally. And it's that equality which in many ways leads to a better society and in some ways a more equal society. And do you think it's a realistic idea? <laughs> I'm absolutely certain it's realistic. Uh, if you go to the Basic Income Earth Network site, you'll see many papers which show that it's financially realistic and politically it's realistic because just so many people who are currently disadvantaged would be advantaged and no one who is in need would be disadvantaged. And do you think it's a communistic idea? No, it's, it's, it's certainly not a communistic idea. It's far short of communism because, as I understand the basic thrust of communism, it's from each according to their ability to each according to their needs. And uh, basic income doesn't look at the concept of uh, need or ability. It just guarantees people the same amount of money, irrespective of their circumstances. It doesn't demand anything from an individual, but it doesn't prevent individuals making contributions to the society or to people around them or to their town or to their, their community. So in, in that sense, it's a much simpler idea than communism. But it's, it's, it's an idea whose time I think has come. Thanks for this interview. <laughs> Good. Well, thanks for taking the bother of giving us a ring.